uphill. I uh, am exhausted. All these shows that this guy watches that I've been staying with. You know, every time somebody dies in one of these shows, it makes me want to bash my fucking brains out against a goddamn table. I've had enough death. I need a fucking break from this shit. The things that you guys want me to do, I don't know how to do them, and I don't have the resources to do them. Without a place where I don't have to listen to all of your fucking shows about goddamn killing, I can't fucking function. If I can't get away from you people fucking screaming at each other because you're fucking drunk, I can't function. That's the point. You know, it's one thing when you just have to deal with it and it's, it's no big thing because it doesn't fucking affect your life. But when you have shit that you're expected to fucking do and you have to do in order to stop the goddamn violence against you, that's a different goddamn story. I needed fucking help. Now where I'm at now, I got the same shit that I had before. I got a fucking roof over my head, thank goodness. I got food in my belly, thank goodness. But that's not what I fucking need. It's still a fucking traumatic environment. And I talked to the guy again this morning. I was like, you know, I, I, I'm fucking overwhelmed with this. All the fucking killing on your TV. You know, I, I need to be able to fucking sit down in some peace and quiet and work on this shit. He said, well, I got my own stuff too. And it's fucking, that's the reason that I got the TV on. And I already knew that, you know? I already know that that's the way that he copes with it. He said he's hoping someday he'll be able to turn off the TV and fucking deal with it. I, I don't have that luxury. I don't have a place of my own. But the other thing is, just like Chris Stegeman, you know, this guy admits that the only reason that he's got his place is because of his family because his family members helped him out. My family's helped out everybody but me. Now my dad, you know, when I went up to his place to try to get the fuck away from Shannon and all of her goddamn screaming, he gave me a Jeep, that's great, but I needed his help. His help. I can't handle three more goddamn weeks of fucking shows about killing. I have shit that I need to fucking do. Meanwhile, you treat me like I'm a shitty goddamn human being because I can't fucking function. I've been through a lot of fucking traumatic shit and I need fucking help. Not empty promises that are gonna show up when it's too goddamn late to do any good. I told people, hey, I need help in person. Scream me at your fucking boyfriend because you drunk off your ass isn't help, Shannon. That makes shit worse. 
but you don't give a fuck how that affects people around you, do you? No, your wine is more fucking important. I can't fucking handle this shit. I need some peace and goddamn quiet! No, Shannon's not a bad person. She's a fucking selfish person. Addicts are all selfish. Meanwhile, I'm not addicted to any drugs or alcohol. The only reason that I play computer games at all is to try to drown out the fucking shows about fucking killing and the fucking screaming. It's a high fucking stress environment and it fucking triggers me. And I told all these people, don't tell me anything you're not willing to tell the police. Everyone I told that to. Everyone. I said if the police won't listen, then I will go fucking public with it. And I fucking meant it. I said, if nobody goes in with me to talk to the fucking cops, they're gonna pull some fucked up bullshit and they fucking did! I have to go to the same goddamn cops I was trying to turn in to try to get help! Meanwhile, those goddamn pigs are doing exactly what I knew they were doing! And you expect me to be fucking happy when people don't keep their word, I fucking speak out. It is my right to do so. I should have been allowed to show some good damn evidence! Over a year and a half of people threatening my life! before I threaten anyone back! But you know what? You don't give a fuck because it's not happening to you! I didn't choose to be disabled! I didn't choose it! But I sure as shit get victimized for it. I must have chosen! I must have chosen it! Isn't that right? I must have chosen for people to assault me! Isn't that right? I must have chosen for people to slander my name! Isn't that right? So here I am! Walking down Main Street in Chapel, Nebraska!
I did not choose for my family to be a bunch of goddamn druggies. But I stayed away from the drugs. I stayed away from the alcohol. What did you choose? What do you do to cope with your bullshit? You get fucked up on meth. You get fucked up on alcohol. You go out and you find somebody who's homeless to victimize. Or a little kid. Because you are fucked up in your goddamn head!